Nasarawa State's Governor, Engineer Abdullahi Sule, has assured of his readiness in ensuring maximum protection of lives and property. He stated this at the graduation of officers from the Special Intervention Squad at the Police Mobile Force Training College in the Hills, Nasarawa State. Our correspondent in Lafayette, Mary Ojiji, has details. Engineer Abdullahi Sule, in his address, emphasized his unwavering support for the police not only in combating crimes, but also in fostering peace. He also commended the Inspector General of Police for initiating the Special Intervention Squad. Training and retraining is the game of the day. And I thank God that today, police is taking training more seriously because that's exactly the way to go. I appreciate the Honorable Minister of Police Affairs, the Ministry, the Council for their support to the IGP and as well as the Nigerian Police. Let me at this moment commend the IGP for his initiatives and as I mentioned earlier for taking training more seriously that led to what we are seeing today here in ID. I want to congratulate all these officers for demonstrating only little of what you have done, but more importantly, for the men that you have gotten yourself today. Speaking, the Inspector General of Police, Kayo Diegbetokun, reaffirmed his commitment to a safer Nigeria, explaining that the creation of the Special Intervention Squad was born from a clear vision to confront the most formidable challenges in our country. He also expressed his gratitude to Governor Sule for his support towards the graduating squad and the United States of America and other partners for their support towards the training of the personnel. These officers have been trained to navigate complex, high-stakes situations with precision, ensuring that they are prepared to act swiftly and decisively in scenarios demanding expert attention. I must express my deepest appreciation to our esteemed international partners, whose unwavering support has been instrumental in bringing this initiative to fruition. I wish to reiterate my profound gratitude to our special guest of honor, the Governor of Nasarawa State, Engineer A.A. Fule for all the support you have given to this court that is possible today. Representing the U.S. Embassy, Mr. Sean Garvin extended his congratulations to the SIS graduates on behalf of the U.S. Ambassador, commending them as guardians of justice and leaders in the fight against crime. As members of the SIS, you stand at the forefront of a collective mission to safeguard Nigeria against the challenges of evolving threats in crime and violence. The Minister of State for Police Affairs, Hajia Iman Suleiman Ibrahim, highlighted the federal government's commitment to providing quick responses to crime and supporting the police in their mission. Commissioner of Police, Lanre Ogunlowo, who oversees the SIS, revealed that the IGP approved a new uniform for the squad, signaling a fresh approach to tackling security challenges. The 169 officers who graduated will soon take on their roles across the state, contributing to the ongoing efforts to enhance security in Nasarawa State. Mary Ojiji, ADBN News.